CataractCoach.com, Resident K60 is pretty good. But here's what could be better. So we've got an anonymous resident who's operating here, and it's case number 60. So if you're around that benchmark, kind of compare yourself and see what we can do here. Now we spread the video up to two times the normal speed. We already have the pairs and teases inside the eye. Again, in case 60, even in case 600, it's not about speed. Do not worry about speed. It's about safety first. Then you can think about efficiency later. So there's the pairs and teases. There's the viscous going inside, filling the anterior chamber. That looks pretty good. Reasonable dilation. Now here, fixating the eye. Here comes the keratome for an incision. Looks like a left-handed surgeon. So here, let's see the incision. Looks reasonable. And okay, that's not a bad incision. I'll take that. Nicking the limbal vessels like we like, so it heals up nicely in the long term. Here's the cystitome. Let's see the technique here. Poking in the middle of the lens caps. Look at that flipped over. And maybe try to pivot the incision a little bit more. You're kind of hitting the side of the main incision with the with the needle right there. And then, yeah, okay, get it flipped over. There you go. There we go. And leave it so it's easy to grab with the main incision and some forceps. So I'm not going with the forceps. And let's get that rexus done. Don't make a baby rexus. That's actually a good size. I like that. Good job. Grabbing it here, pivoting. I like the pivoting technique here. Yeah, and repositioning it so you can have an easy grab. Bring it around. I think you're doing a great job. For K60, to be frank... You're doing a really good job. This is fantastic for the Rexes. By the way, I like the draping. All the eyelashes are out of the way. The lid margin is sequestered. I also like that the eyes in primary. Patients are very comfortable under the anesthesia, probably a block. And again, not bad on the Rexes. The end there, you were a little bit on the smaller side, but still fantastic for K60. Here's a little bit of hydrodissection. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Tap the center of the nucleus. I would check to make sure it spins first. I know you did a little bit there. Okay, you're going to try this then. All right, use that instrument, the chopper or something. Then it spins. You know what I say, if it does not spin, you will not win. But this is spinning, and you're going you're to be winning. So let's take a look here. What is going to be the technique? So I can see that you have an attending or a consultant helping you with surgery. That looks great. So taking out some of the anterior lens material here, anterior cortical material. And let's see, going to do a groove down the middle, perhaps. Maybe you're going to impress us with a stop and chop. Here's one little bit of groove. There, there you go, another groove. Keep it going. Remember, the lens is shaped like an M&M candy, so it's, it's thicker in the middle, thinner in the periphery. So a little bit deeper in the middle there. Looking good. Very nicely done. Maybe widen up the groove a little bit. I find that a little bit helpful to widen up a groove, but you don't have to. Some people like it uh, not widened. Okay. I think you're pretty, pretty sufficient on the depth there. Let's get the second instrument inside the eye. And let's see which way you're going to do it. Are you going to do cross action or it's going to direct action? This is direct action. It's nicely split into two halves, rotating that around. Make sure it's fully split. And now let's see if we're going to do a chop or are you going to do another groove? Okay, another groove. So you're doing a divide and conquer. That's a very reasonable approach here. Maybe you, at this point you're pretty good at the divide and conquer. Maybe it's time to advance to some stop and chop. There you go. You got two more quadrants, but I don't know if they're fully separated. I would have separated them a little bit more. And let's see a groove here as well. So doing a full-on divide and conquer. And then a little bit more groove, a little bit more, a little bit more. And let's see, split this. There you go. Now go to the higher vacuum mode, bring the pieces up, and they should come out pretty easily. Nicely done. I like how the eye is staying in primary. Again, a pretty darn good job for K60. That's actually very good. Good rotation of the nucleus there. Yep, fully separate those two halves. See how they're, they're still attached there. Exactly. That's what I was telling you at the beginning. When you had that separation, you got to propagate it all the way through. So these two halves or are, are, are quarters are still attached. So this is one big hemi-nuclear piece. The chop didn't fully propagate. Now you may have split that quarter off. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Here's the last piece. Be careful as that piece comes up. Remember, nothing's weighing down the capsule bag anymore. So be careful the capsule bag could come up. So this is the last kind of a quadrant coming out of the eye. Nice and easy. Chopper in that safe position, basically. And that's pretty good. I mean, you're doing a good job here. I, I like the technique. It looks pretty stable. Good choice of fluidic settings. Not too much bounce in the anterior chamber. Looks pretty stable here. And then a couple last pieces. You be careful getting these last pieces out. There we go. Hey, if you're a resident, you have to learn RetinaRounds.com. That's such a great sister channel. I promise you're going to learn a lot. You're going to love it. One day you'll say, gosh, Cataract Coach, thank you so much for encouraging me to check out RetinaRounds. Anyway, back to our, back to our case here. So here's the cortex removal with the eye probe. That's pretty good. Nice circumferential approach. Again, nice looking case here. They've done a really, really good job. So for case 60, yeah, that's really good. But be your own toughest critic. Maybe start challenging yourself with a newer technique. It's time to move to stop and chop. 
You can't do this divide and conquer forever. You got to learn everything, right? By the way, the onus is on you as a resident to make a list of things you want to learn in your residency. Like, you know what? I want to learn how to do um, a yamane. I want to learn how to do a pupil plus. And make a list, and then you work with your attendings and professors and consultants to find appropriate cases that they can help you learn. So it's nice to learn these during your training. So here's the viscoelastic film, the capture bag. Let's see the lens going in. Looks like someone loaded it for you. Looks like a, yep, single piece of acrylic lens. Looking good. Get it preloaded. So you can just use one hand. The left hand's injecting it. The right hand's using the second instrument there, this little button device or hook. Getting that lens in the capture bag. Looking really nice. And look at that Rexa size too. And like, by the way, I like how you left a little bit of a gap here so you can go under the optic to remove this classic. I noticed that. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't necessarily do that, but for a newbie surgeon, I think it's a great idea. And you can see the Rexus overlaps the optic 360. That's really just darn good. That's a nice looking case. Now let's, let's judge you at the end, see how we seal up those incisions. Let's see if you do the proper cataract coach hydration or you do it the old fashioned way. It's not too bad. It's pretty reasonable. I'll give you that. A little bit here. How about a little bit on the roof? You gonna hydrate the roof a little bit? There's the roof a little bit. Hey, uh, almost. Checking the pressure, pressure's okay. Don't forget to hydrate that para too. That's a darn looking, good looking case. I'm proud of you, keep up the good work. And now, move to stop and chop and then regular chop and then send me a video. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, you can submit your video too, catacoach.com. Check it out, the directions. Please follow the directions, thank you.